Hey homies, what's up? Ryan Wynn here with another inking demo. This time we've got Commander Bloodshot of the Stalinverse universe from Divinity 3, the third installment in the Divinity series from Valiant Comics. I was the inker on the series. Uh, my good buddy David Barron was the colorist. Trevor Harrison was the penciler I was inking, and the script and writing was by Matt Kent, one of my favorite writers. Um, if you like Matt's work, let me know below which uh, titles are your favorite. He's got quite a few, and they're all extremely interesting. I think my personal favorite is Divinity, but I also like Mind Management. And uh, Revolver is a really good one. I think that might have been the first thing of his I read. But anyways, yeah, I'd, I'd be curious to know, you know what you guys like of Matt's work. And David Barron is currently coloring Detective Comics, so hopefully you guys are picking that up. Uh, he's coloring over Doug Monkey, who's one of the top, top pencilers at, at DC. Uh, you may know his work. He, he's you know famous for a bunch of Superman titles, action. Uh, I think he did some Green Lantern stuff in the last few years. Uh, I fell in love with him when he was uh, when he first came out doing the mask back in the '90s. I think it was early '90s for Dark Horse. So, anyways, I uh, I was gonna post this video yesterday, but I didn't have time. I was working on a pinup for the Alterna comic uh, Tinsel Town. They're gonna be doing a trade paperback, and they asked me to do a pinup. You may have seen the video in my. Uh, on my channel here where I was inking the piece uh, but I ran into a lot of trouble with the colors so I ended up turning to David Barron to help me out with that so I didn't have time to record this and then I figured you know what uh, for some reason my gut it always tells me to post something on Monday I always want to post a new video on Monday so I was like you know what I'll save it for Monday and then uh, it can kind of fill the slot of uh, where I, what I would like to do in the future uh, many of you may have seen on Twitter I was talking about, uh, and, on, and on Instagram too, I was talking about I want to do a sketch cover show called Sketch Cover Raw, which is not only a play on my initials, R-A-W, but also, you know, we have the raw blank sketch cover and uh, do a live stream where I either take suggestions from anyone who's joined the live stream or maybe I take a poll earlier in the week on Instagram and Twitter or, or you know, wherever, and, uh, or you, I might even try using the community settings in YouTube. Uh, all of that is still new to me. I'm, I'm, I'm exploring that, that stuff. So, uh, either way, the idea is to have this really fun interactive show called Sketch Cover Raw, where we, you know, uh, talk about comics, talk about, you know, make suggestions, talk about whatever's going on while, while doing a sketch cover, kind of like when, uh, when I do conventions, people tend to gather around when I'm sketching and drawing, and we joke around, we talk, and we have a good time. Uh, I, I don't get distracted when I draw. I can, um, I'm an old seasoned pro, so I can, uh, I can draw and take questions and stuff like that. So anyways, until I can get that sorted out uh, and get that started and make that a regular thing, I'm going to be posting stuff like this as placeholders and so hopefully I can keep you a little bit entertained and uh, maybe teach you something too. So, on to the tools and what's going on here. Uh, just like when I do conventions, I like to use the uh, zebra brush marker. This is the medium, or no, this is the smallest size. It's a blue barrel and uh, it's very similar to a Tombow brush marker. There's a lot of these sort of short sort of stiffer felt tip brush markers out on the market right now and while I always prefer you know a pen or a brush uh, when I'm doing a sketch cover I, I, I don't know, it just seems right to use these these brush markers they go quickly uh, things don't have to be as refined so here's the big reveal on uh, why I left a space in the forehead there's a ninjak sword sticking in his head and if you are not familiar with the series, um, it's not really a spoiler or anything, but he fights Ninjak. And since Blood, uh, excuse me, Bloodshot, I almost called him Bloodjack. Um, maybe that's a mash, a mashup I should draw. Anyways, he fights 
Ninjak and he has uh, nanites, he's sort of got a healing factor, so you're not actually looking at a dead man or a person being murdered here. It's uh, somebody like Wolverine. He's uh, basically a mashup of Wolverine and, <clears throat> excuse me, the Punisher. It's a guy with a healing factor that likes to shoot big guns, and here we have the Russian version. And what I mean by Russian version is in this uh, installment of Divinity, it was called Stalinverse, and it's an alternate timeline. Uh, a certain character had gone back in time, changed things around so that the Soviets had, uh, the USSR basically, had, n had not reformed and took over the world, and basically everything was... Uh, Stalinverse. Uh, the character went back in time and from Stalin's time uh, they basically took over. So in this iteration we've got all the Valiant characters but they are uh, communist Soviet versions of them. So this is Commander Bloodshot. And at one point in the series there's a really great duel between uh, he and Ninjak. And everyone seems to like that. I, I actually, I've said this in interviews and other podcasts and stuff. I, I didn't like it, the idea at first. I, I was really into where the divinity story was going. And I thought this was a big distraction. And I didn't, I didn't think it would do that well. But, but people loved it. I was so wrong. Uh, all my friends, all the fans and readers, uh, it's, it's some of their, you know, their, uh, it's many of their favorite storyline, and I, I guess it's because you get to have an alternate version of all these characters, even if it's just for a few issues. Uh, some of them just for a few panels each issue. So I hadn't really thought of it like that. I was sort of caught up in my own personal uh, take on Divinity and how different and separate it was from the rest of the Valiant universe, but in the end... Uh, especially after the fourth installment, which is called Eternity, I could really see what, what Matt and Warren had decided to do with it. And, uh, yeah, I really, I actually, I kind of like it now. So I got to admit, I've changed, changed my mind on it. So as you can see, I did very thin lines and then very thick lines for those, uh, the, uh, whatever you call it, I forget what it's called. Now, I used to know all the official parts of these swords, but there's the cloth that's wrapped around the handles. You can really bear down with these markers. They're a lot of fun. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, I did, oh, look at that. I changed up using a big Pentel brush marker. You can, uh, if you're careful with the, your control, you can squeeze out a lot of ink onto that brush and then mop it around to fill in the black spaces. And just like always, I'm moving left to right and away from, and, uh, from bottom to top away from me. And filling in as you move across. And I guess I'm going back and forth a little bit. There's no hard rules to it, but still ba the basic pattern is to kind of keep moving away and to the right. And look at that, right as I say that, I jump up there. I gotta stop, stop making, a, making it sound like there's all these rules and then changing it up. So this will be for sale in a couple weeks. I am stocking up my, uh, what is it called? The Store Envy store, uh, or my Store Envy shop, maybe a better way to say that. Uh, I, it, it is open currently, but I'm going to be revamping it and updating it weekly with a couple new sketch covers. So there you can see you lift up the board and you can ink off the edge then you don't get uh, ink all over your board. So there we have it. I think all that's left to do is to sign it and then we're out of here. So Later this week, uh, I may be on the Alterna stream if there is a creator stream going on. Uh, if I'm not on it, I'll probably be in the chat, so I'll see you guys there. And next week, I'm hoping to do uh, a few live streams. I have an Alterna poster that I'm working on, and I want to ink it live. So 
Till then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and take it easy.